When we think about our saliva, it's hard to have a pleasant picture in mind. From drooling to spitting, saliva can get pretty gross. But what if we had no spit? How would our day-to-day -day life change if we had no saliva? While it may not seem like it, saliva has some pretty important functions for our bodies. Our saliva is made in our salivary glands, which are located throughout our mouth. Saliva is 98% water, but the other 2% includes many important substances that we'll get into in this video. One of the functions of saliva includes digestion. When we eat, most of our food gets digested in our stomach and intestines, but our digestion starts in our mouth. Our teeth and tongue essentially act as a food processor, smashing up our food and shaping it into a bolus that we can swallow. If you've ever tried blending a smoothie, you know how hard it is when there's not enough liquid. And it's the same thing in our mouth. Our saliva acts as the liquid to moisten and soften our food, making it easier to mash up and swallow. And that's not all. Our saliva also has the digestive enzyme amylase, which breaks down starches into simple sugars before you swallow your food. It's estimated that 30% of our starches get digested in our mouth simply due to our saliva. But let's say we didn't have saliva, would we still be able to taste our food? Even though our taste buds wouldn't be affected, without our saliva actually dissolving our food, our taste buds wouldn't be able to recognize what we're eating. So that delicious pizza you've been eyeing wouldn't taste so great. If we didn't have saliva, we'd have a dry mouth. That's pretty obvious, but is it really a big deal? It's estimated that a healthy person produces between 0.4 to 2.8 liters of saliva a day. Yes, that 2 liter bottle of coke in your fridge is how much saliva you're producing in a single day. You make more saliva when food enters your mouth, specifically when you start chewing. Like we said, if we didn't have saliva, we would have a pretty hard time chewing and digesting our food. But a dry mouth is also a breeding ground for bacteria. In a normal healthy mouth, our saliva is able to wash away harmful bacteria and keep our mouths clean. But in a dry mouth, these bacteria like to hang around, causing our gums, tongue, and other tissues in our mouth to become swollen and uncomfortable. You'd probably lose some friends too, as these bacteria tend to reek. Ever heard of morning breath? That's usually caused by a dry mouth. Now that these bacteria have made a home in your mouth, they've gotten pretty comfortable knowing that there's nothing to wash them away, and they've invaded pretty much everywhere, including your teeth. Brushing and flossing will help, but without our saliva to wash these bacteria away, it's only a matter of time before they cause problems, tooth decay and gum disease. In conclusion, our saliva is our friend, and while it may seem gross at times, it's vital to having a healthy mouth. Dry mouth is a common concern, especially among older populations. It's a common side effect from most medications, from diseases like Sjogren's syndrome, and from certain medical treatments. If you have or are worried about a dry mouth, make sure you talk to your dentist or physician about your concerns. As always, thank you for watching, and if you liked that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our new tips every week.